Here's your weather video for this Sunday, March the 19th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and spring begins officially tomorrow at 424 p.m. Central Time in the afternoon. But it does not feel very spring-like out there across Alabama or any of the southern tier states this morning. These are, uh, these are the watches and warnings across the United States uh, showing purple the dominant color. I'm wearing uh, purple in honor of that uh, early, early on this Sunday morning. Uh, freeze warnings all the way from southeastern Virginia, all the way across the Carolinas, Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, way back into North Texas, the Dallas area even. That is the dominant advisory. It will be the same way pretty much tonight, at least for Alabama, uh, the entire north and central part of the state in a freeze warning. We've got more winter storm warnings out west in the Sierras, uh, 50 to 100 inches of rain in places, uh, snow, crazy uh, weather just continues out there, but we're grateful uh, for the moisture, that is for sure. Temperatures early this morning in the 20s across much of the area. Going to have a hard time getting out of the 40s. These are daytime highs today off the national blend of models showing lower 40s across Tennessee Valley. Some of the uh, normally colder, uh, higher ridges across northeast Alabama may not even get out of the 30s today. 45 for Birmingham, 47 for Tuscaloosa, 50 for Montgomery is kind of what we expect. And tonight will be another very cold night. Uh, temperatures lower 20s in the Tennessee Valley. I see some teens up there again. This is probably the coldest night of this little cold spell that we're in right now. Uh, 22 in the U.S. 278 quarter, 25 to 26. Uh, some lower 20s, though, in the I-20 quarter, 27 to 28 in the Montgomery area. So, um, as you can tell, it's going to be another cold one tonight. Freeze warnings will be in effect for the entire area. Remember those three Ps. People, pets, and plants protect them uh, because they're all going to be vulnerable tonight with those cold temperatures. We'll lead off with temperatures across the uh, National Blend of Models for the next 10 days, kind of showing you a, a very nice warm-up in store. going to be easy to remember the temperatures uh, for central Alabama, for most folks. 40s today, 50s on Monday, 60s on Tuesday, 70s on Wednesday, 80s on Thursday. Uh, and near 80 on Friday. So we'll take that. And then we kind of settle back just a bit as the high pressure uh, sort of uh, loses its dominance and uh, some systems move through Alabama and the southeast. 25, uh, the low uh, tonight, uh, 32 uh, Monday night. So then we get back out of the, the 40s and 50s and things begin to uh, improve just a bit as we go through time. National. Oh, this is. I'm going to use the uh, European uh, today, just because. Although it's been coming around to the GFS, this idea of some rain on Wednesday. We'll touch. Uh, we'll touch on that in just a moment. High pressure centered near uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas, this morning uh, is in charge of Alabama's weather, keeping a cool northerly flow. We'll be with that today. You can expect mostly sunny skies, but the uh, northerly flow will uh, provide cold air advection that will keep our temperatures uh, held down all day, as we saw 40s. Uh, to near 50 down around Montgomery. As we go through time today, that high pressure system uh, sort of joins forces, forces with high pressure there over West Virginia. And as we get to Monday morning, that ridge of high pressure is in charge of our weather. No rain anywhere near Alabama. It will uh, be a mostly sunny Monday. Another cold morning, as we said. Temperatures, though, rising into the uh, lower 50s to uh, upper 50s across the area. Generally 52 to 58 degrees, but a beautiful day on Monday. Tuesday will be even better. Uh, as we get to early Tuesday morning, high pressure centered over southern West Virginia, partly cloudy and warmer for us here in north and central Alabama. After a morning low in the upper 20s to low 30s, we'll be uh, back into the uh, rebounding nicely into the lower and middle 60s by afternoon. Look at that system developing there over the plains. We'll keep a close eye on it as that uh, upper level system moves out towards the Great Lakes. As we, um, as we move to Wednesday, that may trigger a few showers. Uh, late Tuesday night and on Wednesday, especially over the northern third of the state. We'll watch that. I think I'm going to go back and put a few showers in the forecast for Wednesday. We'll call for partly, uh, partly sunny, partly cloudy to partly sunny conditions. Still warmer, though, with high temperatures in the lower 70s. That won't be bad. Uh, you'll begin to notice a nice, balmy southeasterly breeze by then. 
that system won't change our temperatures at all. As we go into Thursday, Thursday looks like it may be the nicest day uh, out of all. High pressure is uh, really in charge over Alabama and the southeast at that point. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy conditions will be much warmer. High temperatures on Thursday climbing into the lower 80s. Uh, which is going to feel uh, quite, quite spring-like. It's starting to feel more like May, going from January to May, all in the course of just one week. But uh, things begin to break down as we move toward Friday. You can see uh, that system in the uh, southern plains begins to take shape, low pressure there, crossing the Arkansas-Missouri border. Uh, showers and thunderstorms will be likely, uh, all from uh, Missouri back into uh, the Red River Valley of Texas and Oklahoma. Some severe weather is possible there Thursday night. We'll uh, keep an eye on that. While we're not expecting severe weather uh, on a large scale here on Friday, I think that it's not out of the question that we could deal with that. Breezy at times, increasing clouds during the day on Friday. A few showers could pop up as early as the morning hours, uh, but showers and thunderstorms uh, we'll be moving into Alabama from the west. You see here during the afternoon hours, some of those storms could be strong to severe. We'll watch that. Uh, the SPC did not have a risk out for us yet uh, on that uh, on that day outlook, but I think that could be coming. Um, not an extremely uh, heavy amount of rain we're expecting uh, from this system, but it uh, should be a general soaker uh, for most of us. It moves out pretty quickly, as you see, by Saturday morning. Uh, our temperatures are back in the 70s on uh, Saturday, falling back just a little bit. But things don't really change. Another system pops into place pretty quickly. Uh, and it looks like uh, even though we stay dry during the day on Sunday, it'll be increasing clouds and breezy again. Rain returns overnight. Not much of a thunderstorm look there. High temperatures in the 70s, but just not much instability. Uh, so uh, that's uh, kind of what the things are going to look like here over the next uh, 10 days, according to the European and our forecast. Weather Brains is the weekly netcast. It's all about weather. I hope you're catching it every week. If you haven't recently, uh, go back and look at some of the uh, previous episodes. We had some great guests recently. We'll have some more great ones uh, coming up this Monday night. Uh, looking forward to that. Get the podcast wherever you consume your podcast content. And you can always, of course, watch it live at youtube.com. Uh, forward slash weather brain slash weather video for this sunday the 19th i'll have uh, updates on the blog a look at the forecast uh, revised at noon keep you posted on anything that you need to know about just uh, keep in mind that you got a freeze warning if you are in north of central alabama for tonight and hopefully that will uh, perhaps be the last one. we might have another one monday night we'll be watching for that carefully but at least a good warm-up is on the way coming later this week. Well, James will be back with two days tomorrow. Scott will see you next Saturday. I'll see you Sunday. And as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.